Hi there, I just want to share with you my design process, how I get from that to that. I want to visualise this before it's actually made, and the best way of doing that is, I find, is just to design it and draw it out. And I really like this, this stage, it's really good. It's really enjoyable, it's um, quite relaxing actually, and it's great having all of these pictures here. So. What I do here, so this is for Sue here. I'm just going to look at what teeth we need to replace first. That's the first thing I'm going to do. So on here, I just colour in the missing teeth. So we've got the central, lateral, and canine there. So I'm just going to colour in those missing teeth there. I'm using these pro markers. They're fantastic. I love these to do. I could actually do this quite easily, you know, on my iPad using a pen on there too. Now, what I'm thinking about here is, in terms of the missing teeth, which ones am I going to replace there? So, she's got full arch of lower teeth. Now she's got these, this gap just there, but that's right at the back, that tooth there. So, this is going to be biting on, certainly onto the seven. So, I'm just going to colour in those on both sides, just like this. So, that's there, and, and then all the way back here, to there, so that's so this is first off. I must do there, and just here, two like this. Okay, so next, what I'm going to do is to start to think about support for the denture itself. Um, what I was a little bit concerned about is she's already shown that she's potentially can lose teeth further back here. So I'm going to go along with putting backings on all of these teeth here so that should these upper anterior, any of those fail in the future, we can add to the denture. So I'm going to put metal backings on here like this. There. And these are just like, it's like a continuous resin bonded bridge. Like this, across the back, just there, like that. There. And then, what I don't like doing is doing a big mesial rest, because often from the sight line can come up here, and if there's a big mesial rest on that tooth there, it's quite visible. So I just keep that out of sight. So if you look at a lot of my, well, all of my designs here, they'll be, they'll just sweep round here like that, and then we'll have a good positive distal rest like this, and then that sweeps into. So this here is going to connect into these free end saddles just here, like that. Now, she's um, she's got a, a class one, almost it's almost a class three occlusion, but I'm just going to call that class one occlusion. So she's got a little, you know, this bite here, a little bit of a cross bite just there. And but what I don't want to do is really prop the bite open massively on this here. I just want it just to be opened up slightly. So you can have a new occlusion there and also a new occlusion on these back teeth too. Um, but I'm going to do subtractive rests on those underneath. So this is me just colouring that in. So I'm just using it. This is a lovely pencil that, um, that I was given by someone from Japan as a little present. But this is a pencil and they can rub it out there. Um, and this, these are going to be little rest seats that just drilled into the teeth there just to create a little bit of space. If I was doing this lower denture there, then I would be looking at putting additive rests on there at the bottom because I find that additive rests are brilliant for these freehand saddle situations in the lower because we don't have the tongue to rest the denture on. Whereas here, we've got all of this lovely palette there. Now, in terms of the hygienic, the Scandinavian design, I want to keep the as much of the metal componentry here away from the gingival margin. So I'm going to just bring that right across there like this, this section there. The saddles, I want to just extend fully around the back of the tuberosity just there like that. And this is going to be the center line. So I just mark that on there. I'm going to sweep this further forward and 
just bring it back, just do a little sweep like that. If we look at the underneath here at the hard palette there, the bone itself just comes back like that in that area. I'm bringing this further forward than that, but it's just, I think it just looks nicer just having that little bit of a sweep back just there like that. And then I'm going to just bring that round here like this. So fully round the tuberosities. I'm just going to rub that out just a little bit just there and bring that so it's tight in like this there and there. And then this will be the metal framework just there like that. And then, you know, we've got the acrylic work just there like that. That just looks a little bit too wide. I don't like the look of it. So I'm just going to just rub that out nicely and then just bring that just a little bit further in like that there. So that's really good. So next what I just want to do is just to work out what we're going to do with clasping on these teeth here. So this is where looking at these smiles like that um, is really important. I just want to see what, what is visible when Sue smiles there. You know, like this. So when she really goes for it, she still show, covers the top bit there. So I can use eye bars that come in off the top there really nicely. So, but we'll keep it, you know, right at the top of the tooth there like that. And right, you know, at the highest point on the tooth there in this area here. So I'll, I'll call that in just in a minute there. But this is a clasp there and I indicate, if you look at any of my designs, there's always an X and this indicates where the retention is. So as a rule, generally on 90% of my dentures, it will have two clasps per denture. And then all of this is kept beautifully clear, the gingival margin too. So let's have a look at the side view here. So I'm just going to colour that in too. So we've got um, right to the canine there and then we've got the saddle area here. So and I generally just draw that, just remembering that we've got the freenum there too. I'm going to just colour in those missing teeth, just the bottom there. And um, so just colouring that in really nicely. So just there. That's really good. That's great. And then I'm just in the surgery and I'm just doing this at lunchtime for you. So Claire's just walking around in the background don't worry about that it's fine i've got a patient coming in about a um, quarter of an hour so now i'm just going to do this other side too just there so we have one two three four and then it goes to there and that's the design further back right beyond the tuberosity just there like this so i call that in lovely and so these are the missing teeth on there just like that and then i'm going to draw on where the clasp is going to be so we want that the eye bar to come really high like that so it's covered by the smile you know and the patient smiles there same on this side really high and then down if this was really visible, then I'd be looking to potentially just do a shell clasp on that. If you want to see a shell clasp, if you just look up my newsletter, which has got Zephyrine on it. I've forgotten what number it is, but it's Zephyrine, and she's the repaired cleft lip and palette, and it's terrific. It's got a nice shell clasp on that that works beautifully, made of acetyl resin. So let's colour everything in now. So I'm just going to colour in these areas. Here where we've got the flanges. So this is um, just a nice colour. This is called Pastel Pink Pro Marker. So Pastel Pink R738, if you're interested in getting that from Amazon or a art shop. They're just lovely, these pens. They're a joy to use and then Rowan my technician who's just through in the room just there next door in the lab he can just see exactly what we're talking about so I'm just calling all of this in so I do this this is a 
I do this straight away. As soon as I've seen the patient, just with photos, and, and I can just come up with this and just pop this into the patient's uh, treatment plan letter. There, so just cover that in. Just like that. So. That's superb. Not exactly what's going on. Just like that there. And then I'm gonna I've got a nice little gold pen here. This is just a Pentel gold pen. So that's really nice for these gold clasps. So these clasps are 0.9 millimeter wrought gold, which we use just there like this and like that there and there and I'm going to just put a little X above those teeth there and there like so and then just colour in the metal base I don't like to use um, toilet seat designs I can turn these over these are great because I've got that bit there and I can just turn it over and just do use the thick chisel end just to colour that in so, just do the main bit just there like that and then change that to there so I'll just finish that off like this so this will be the framework of the metal we'll, it will, there'll be a mesh that extends from the this area here into the denture underneath. So if we look at actually what I did, and um, fast forward right through to the metal framework, it's going to look like that with metal mesh that just extends underneath there, and then the metal work extends onto the top of the teeth, just like that there. So. Let's link all of these up. So these are like resin bonded bridge wings. And um, they just extend around there. Underneath like this. So these areas, the most important bit is to keep the ginger feet clear from in this direction from the palate or, and from the lingual direction. So, but the, the coverage of the tooth is absolutely fine like that. That can creep almost to the edge, just like a resin bonded bridge if need be. But it's really, really important this area is kept nice and clear too. So, so once I've done the design, drawn it out, um, just to make it super neat, to make it look like that, what I do is I just use a black marker pen to just outline these little areas down just like this. So like that. Just there, like that. that and then just there. Cool. Okay. Just neaten that up a little bit, just as a touch in just there. And that's the design sorted. So if you're interested in looking at this case, this is newsletter 56. You can just go to my case studies there. And if you just scroll down, it's that one there, it's C. There, just like that. So you can just click on that and it'll just show all of the whole protocol in place. Thanks very much for joining me. Bye for now. Good luck and bye.